meeting held 1st December 2022, Councillor Charles stated, the council is committed to actively working with Potter Street Wellbeing Hub Trust to seek to find venues from which it can commence running some wellbeing activities in the Potter Street area. In your letter dated the 7th of December 2022, to the trustees in your capacity of deputy leader and portfolio holder for regeneration, after we decided that Osler House was uneconomic to repair, you wrote, that is why we will seek to find an alternative venue in Potter Street for your project that does not require such levels of investment. I am confident this can be done in short order. In an email dated the 12th of December, 22, in reply to my own, Robert Halpern MP wrote, thank you for your email. Please be assured that I will work with the council to do all we can to find an alternative venue for the hub. 15 months have now passed since these promises were made. Will the leader of the council now honour those promises or will the residents of South East Harlow once again be let down? Thank you for your question, Mr Thorpe, and your tireless championing of Pot Street in your neighbourhood. With a view to assisting the Pot Street Wellbeing Hub uh, locator venue, Council officers facilitated a meeting with the Pot Street Community Association, who at the time had capacity to take on new bookings within the existing community centre, and as far as I have reviewed, perfectly reasonable offers were made but were not accepted at the time. This would have seen the hub located in Pot Street. Nevertheless, Harlow Council has also supported the wellbeing hub concerning the community garden growing project at Dudley, Dudley Terrace allotment. This is an active project and the council is in the process of regular, regularising the occupation of the site via the grant of a new lease. Furthermore, given the welcome news of the proposed sale of Osler House to Mine in West Essex, there may be opportunity to work with charity regarding use of community space within the property in due course, Sala Council will be happy to make introductions so that the parties can discuss what opportunities may be there. Do you have a supplementary, Mr. Thorpe? No. Okay, which takes us to question five, which is going to be Mr. Thorpe. Following on from my previous question on the Council's suggested commitment to supporting the hub, the Potter Street Health and Wellbeing Hub has only been able to progress one part of its plans. And this has been achieved by taking over a derelict and open site in Potter Street and creating the Potter Street and Church Lane Community Garden. <coughs> Unfortunately, the garden lacks its hub, which is a central part of the project, not only as an administrative centre or the rental of allotments, but also somewhere for our volunteers can rest. Would the council now use its powers as granted in the Small Holdings and Allotment Act 1908, Part 2, Section 26? which allows for improvements on allotments and the town and country planning, brackets, general permitted development, brackets, England, order, part 12, class A, which allows the erection of a small ancillary building of less than four metres in height with a maximum of 200 cubic metres capacity and provide a small log cabin funded by some of the funds which were allocated to us for house and by doing so, Honour the promise it made to find a base for the hub in Potter Street. Uh, thank you for your question. The Council congratulates Potter Street Health and Wellbeing Hub on its important work in creating a community garden, the provision of a small log cabin for the pur purposes of an administrative centre or rest area on statutory allotment land would be contrary to planning laws. However, the Council will commit to working with your organisation as we have been with a view to providing an appropriate facility for ancillary use to a statutory allotment subject to the building and use falling within the limited Do you have a further supplementary? Yes, so I have got a supplementary question, which I hope you allow me to outline the reason for asking it. No, I'm afraid we just have to take the question, Mr. Thorpe. I'm fully aware of the background if that helps, but we take the question. That is actually blocking my question because it follows on for the reason for asking it. No, I'm afraid our standing orders make very clear the process for members of the public asking questions. So you've asked a substantive question, you now have the opportunity to ask a supplementary question. Right, fair enough. As I said, I have stated that you are blocking the reason for asking the question. You just turn the microphone on, Mr. Thorpe. 
So I'll have to rephrase it. If you just turn the microphone right. on as well. Sorry. Does planning have to work within the constraints of the planning order and not use words which are not in the planning order by substituting the word, um, now let me see what the word was, I'll have to look back now, um, just hold on a minute. Incidental, incidental is not used in the planning order, ancillary is. Ancillary, providing necessary support to the primary activities of the organisation, system, etc. Will this council use its powers as per the amendment, bracket 747, to the town and country planning, brackets general development, brackets England order 2015, which allows someone working on the council's behalf and grant permission to Potter Street and Church Lane and Community Garden to erect a small log cabin of 60 cubic metres capacity to be used as an administrative office for the general running of the allotments and the shelter and rest place for the volunteers who help to maintain the site. Well, I think you managed to get your entire question in um, as planned, which I congratulate you on, uh, first of all. Um, what I would say is I can't comment on a specific planning application, uh, should there be one, because of course all planning applications are taken on their individual uh, merits. However, uh, we have ourselves had extensive correspondence about this matter, and what the Council has sought to do at all times, and I'm extremely confident this is what we have done, uh, and I indeed commend Councillor Purse particularly, who has been an extraordinary champion of your cause, um, and I bear battle scars for that, um, is, is seek to support you in what you are trying to do uh, with that building. The, the challenge is that the, the uh, laws around statutory uses of allotments are clearly laid out. Um, if you wish to put the plan application in against the advice that we've given you, you are absolutely welcome to do so. If that application is rejected by the local planning authority, you can of course appeal that to the planning inspectorate. Um, but I would urge you to uh, consider and continue with the advice we've given you and we will uh, do our best to ensure that the facilities you seek uh, to, to meet on the site can be done uh, in line with the law. Which takes us now to... Can I, can I...